Knee injection of steroids is a safe treatment for osteoarthritis or inflammatory arthritis of the knee joint. As with all joint injections, sterility must be maintained for any components used in the injection that enter the knee joint space. The equipment for a knee injection include gloves, iodine wipes or alcohol wipes, an 18-gauge needle and a 27-gauge 1.5-inch needle, a 3cc syringe, 0.5% marcaine, 20 to 40 milligrams of methylprednisolone acetate or equivalent, and an adhesive bandage dressing. Knee effusions can be found in a number of conditions including septic arthritis. Do not inject steroids into a potentially infected knee. Draw up 2.5 cc of marcaine and 40 mg of methylprednisolone acetate or the equivalent into a single syringe using an 18 gauge needle and mix well by tipping the syringe backwards and forwards. Remove the needle and place a sterile 27 gauge needle on the syringe. There are three commonly used approaches to knee injections. The upper lateral approach is commonly used if an effusion is present and removal of fluid is done at the same time as the steroids are injected. If no effusion is present, the inferior approaches along the medial or lateral joint spaces are easier to perform. In this patient, the inferior lateral approach was selected. Thoroughly clean the skin overlying the knee with an antiseptic solution. To perform the injection with the inferior lateral approach, place the patient in the supine position with the knee flexed to 90 degrees of flexion. Carefully palpate the knee to identify the anatomic landmarks, which are the patella, the tibial plateau, and the patellar tendon. Just lateral to the patellar tendon is an easily palpable sulcus. Wearing sterile gloves, palpate the cleansed area to reconfirm the injection site with the left hand. Maintain sterility of the left hand throughout the procedure. With the right hand, remove the needle guard from the syringe topped with a 27 gauge needle without contaminating the needle. Pass the needle parallel to the tibial plateau and angle the needle medially towards the center of the joint about 30 degrees. Insert the needle two centimeters into the knee joint space so that the tip of the needle is within the joint space. The needle should be directed under the patella, but should not make contact with the underside of the patella or the condyles of the femur. Inject the corticosteroid solution into the joint space. There should be no resistance if the needle tip is within the joint space. Withdraw the needle and apply gentle pressure to the entry site. Cover with an adhesive bandage. The procedure is now complete.